Antonio Brown was drafted to the Pittsburgh Steelers in the sixth round of the 2010 NFL Draft and took the number 84 to remind himself that 32 teams passed on him multiple times. How that works, well 8 times 4 is 32, but the number 32 is basically unofficially retired in honor of Franco Harris. So 84 worked. The 45, one man to beat is the punter Schulte. Antonio Brown will go the distance. Touchdown, Central Michigan. Before breaking college and NFL records, palling around with The Rock and appearing on Dancing with the Stars in 2016. Most of my boys are with me, some are still out seeking glory. Before dating the beautiful Chelsea Chris. Not bad. Before live streaming from inside the Steelers locker room for 17 minutes, broadcasting Coach Tomlin's profanity lay speech. You're smarter than that. You're bigger than that. And I, 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 it was just a very stupid thing to do, to be quite honest with you. Antonio's dad, arena football star Eddie Brown, wasn't around during his teenage years, and his mother threw him out of the house while he was still in high school. He was homeless during his senior year and was denied the opportunity to play for Florida State because of poor grades. But Antonio pushed through this difficult time to become one of the best wide receivers in the NFL, a three time Steelers MVP with an estimated net worth of $13 million. What's going on, guys? My name is Mike McCredden, documenting the life and career of Antonio Brown here for you on Before They're Famous. Now we've covered some other football players including Colin Kaepernick as well as Marshawn Lynch and I want to thank SeatGeek for sponsoring this video. Now as always let us know in the comments down below who you want me to document next. Antonio Brown was born on July 10, 1988 in Miami, Florida. He played football from the age of 6 and grew up in the Liberty City, a rough lower income neighborhood. Aside from being where Trick Daddy grew up, Liberty City was also home to NFL players like Eli Rogers, Elvis Dummerville, Artie Burns, Teddy Bridgewater, Sean Spence and T.Y. Hilton whose father actually coached Antonio as a kid, but his own father would have an even greater impact on his life. His father scored so often, his name became Touchdown Eddie Brown. Antonio's dad, Eddie Brown, is widely considered the greatest player in Arena Football League history. He inspired Antonio to play football in the first place, and while in the second grade, he lived with his famous father in Albany, New York. Uh, kids used to want his autograph, and I used to uh, bring autographs for lunch money, and. Uh, it's a fun time. But after just one year in Albany, Antonio was sent back to Liberty City to live with his mom. He played football at Miami Norland High School where he was also on the track team. He became close friends with Kayvon Webster who is now a Denver Broncos quarterback and remains Antonio's workout buddy to this day. When he was 16 years old, his mother remarried and due to conflicts with his new stepdad, Antonio was kicked to the curb. Abandoned by both parents, he became so thin at this time that his nickname was Bony Tony. During his senior year of high school, he was effectively homeless and relied on friends for couches so he could crash on them. I wasn't there to help him through those struggles. After high school, Antonio applied to Florida State University but failed to get in because of his poor academic history. Still effectively homeless, his former assistant coach coach from Northland High, James Upton, gave him a place to crash. He stayed with him for a year and enrolled at North Carolina Tech Prep to get his test scores up to scratch. It was basically the plot of the movie The Blind Side, which I think relates to a lot of people in America, a lot of football players. Do you have any place to stay tonight? Don't you dare lie to me. At Tech Prep, he played as a quarterback in just five games, but it was enough to impress the fine folks at Florida International University who offered him a scholarship. But before the football season even started, he got into a fight with security and was promptly expelled. Thankfully, Zach Azani from Central Michigan University reached out to him and recruited him to play for CMU. The only thing was, they didn't need another quarterback, so if Antonio wanted a spot on the team, he'd have to play as a wide receiver. Not only did Antonio adapt to the new position on the field, he won the Mid-American Conference Freshman of the Year award and started in every game during his sophomore season. He also reconnected with both his parents. In fact, he was with his mom as he waited to be drafted into the NFL in 2010. Speaking of the NFL, if you're looking to see one of Antonio's games or any sporting event or concert, let me introduce you to the best place to get the lowest prices on tickets. This is the world's largest event search ticket engine. It's called SeatGeek. 
What they do is search all the ticket prices available on the web to find the absolute best seat at the best price. SeatGeek puts out a 1 to 100 score to let you know if you're getting a good deal or a bad one. Green means good, red means bad. Now because you guys have been amazing subscribers, like truthfully I love you all, I've got you 20 bucks back when you use the promo code FAMOUS. There's a link in the description box down below, so you might as well use it right now. Don't forget. Despite his talent, Antonio was not selected until the 6th round, but feeling like an underdog has been a constant source of motivation for him. To remind himself that he was a late round pick, he wears the number 84. He has said, I wear 84 for a reason. 8 times 4 is 32. 32 NFL teams passed on me multiple times, including the Steelers. I remember draft day and how I felt sitting in the hotel room with my mom, waiting to be picked. How long it took to hear my name called? Every time I go out there, it's added motivation. Today Antonio is the father of four kids of his own. He has three sons and one daughter. Antonio Jr, Autonomy, Ali and Antonia. Shamika Brailsford is the baby mama to his two older kids and his current girlfriend Chelsea Kiss is mother to the younger two. Like Antonio, she also has two children from previous relationships, Kellen and Brooklyn. I wouldn't miss a day uh, in my kids life. Uh, they're pretty much my priority. They're what I live and strive for. The guy now has a truly happy family. Not bad. As for the rest of the story, well, you know the story because this is before they're famous. My name is Michael McCredden and I do all kinds of bios on this channel. I got two suggestions for you right here down below. Click on one of them. What else are you going to do? We're looking to do more athletes here on this channel. We need suggestions from you in the comments down below. So let us know who's next and I'll see you guys in another video. I hear it. Big Ben. You know the London clock is named after you? Yes. Just found that out about a couple years ago. Okay.